I want to talk about something that I see trending on TikTok and also Twitter about HBCUs. There was actually a girl who was speaking about how black people are the most competitive and also they will alienate you if they don't feel like you fit their aesthetic. And I'm going to try to find her TikTok and I'm going to tag her. And I have a story for that ass. When I first started going to this private HBCU, I'm not going to say the name of the school. Um, it's very small. It gives like this high school culture, very childish and mature because everybody's in your business. Um, nine times out of ten, sadly enough, you've probably been attracted to one of your homegirls crushes that's how small the school is um i remember first going there you know for the school's camp so that's about i think six weeks you're there um and i remember you know they had a earlier thing where you were able to connect with people who were going to the camp before you actually went to the camp i was not a part of that so i didn't know a lot of individuals and also a lot of people wasn't a part of that but there were a select few that were and i remember being paired up with this group of individuals um who knew each other they were you know a mixture of people from dc chicago dallas you know they knew each other before the camp began and they had this type of aesthetic about them that made them look richer or not richer made them look better or put together more y'all know the aesthetic i'm talking about and i remember we had to play these games you know that the campus wanted us to play in order for us to connect with each other because we would be the only students on the campus for those six weeks and I remember they went around asking everybody questions, but the moment they asked me a question and I began to speak, there was the group leader who gave me this stank ass look and still judges me to this day. And I feel that energy because how I talk. I can't tell you a number of times where I was discriminated on my HBCU's campus because I dress a certain way and I fit the aesthetic, but I was country as hell. Now, that may sound very small, very small, and doesn't make sense. But when I tell you at HBCU, they will find something to alienate you about. People fucked with me because of how I looked. But when my mouth opened up, people didn't want to be around me at all. Because I'm very comfortable with my southern accent. I'm very comfortable with talking how I want to talk. I'm not going to switch my voice up for anybody. And I'm going to try to fit in the aesthetic that I'm talking about. And mind you, I have a very thick accent outside of TikTok. I just sometimes try to tone it down. But y'all even can probably hear it. And the majority of the population of my school was Northerners, people from the North. And of course, the people in the Midwest where the school is. 